the story of Henrietta Lacks has largely gone untold for decades. Lacks was a black American woman who died of a cancerous tumor in 1951. Without her permission, her cells were taken, kept, and grown in John Hopkins Hospital. I know it don't make too much sense. Lax's cells were the first cells in history to be multiplied and used in scientific research globally. Known as the HeLa cell line, these cells facilitated research into cancer, HIV AIDS, and gene mapping. A book called The Immortal Life of Henrietta Lacks by Rebecca Skloot. A friend of mine gave it to me and I was amazed, absolutely amazed. Some of you would have read it, that I hadn't heard of Henrietta Lacks. And I thought that central drama about is one woman's life worth medical progress? A really poignant drama for theatre. Um, so, so I went about getting in touch with Rebecca and, and then trying to put this show together. Yeah. Suddenly, discoveries are tumbling out of labs across the world. And, and, and what is uncomfortable, and I hope you, you, you understand that too, is that, um, is that we have a, 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 a situation where the family wasn't included in any of that process. And, and that to me is, is, is unfortunate. I know it's not easy. I've taken this show around the world and scientists have said, well, it's not easy. Um, but that doesn't mean it shouldn't have been tried. But it was tried in 2013. And I, you know, hats off to the National Institute of Health in America, but they're only one organization in the whole of the world that has reached out to the family. A significant one, a very significant one. So, yeah. People have said to me, um, but all the stuff that has been achieved by this, surely it's okay. I mean, it's kind of worth it that she went through what she did. And I think that is the wrong question to ask. One shouldn't be worth the other. The two are uncomfortable truths that, that sit side by side. That we have all benefited from the healer cell, and yes, this woman was treated shabbily, and yes, her family was treated shabbily. So in the humanities side of science, there's a huge thing with ethics now. It's different in different countries, but, um, but these are the questions we need to start asking. We need to communicate science to people who are not scientists. We need to communicate medicine to patients. We need to stop exploiting the poor and uneducated because they can't always grasp what we're talking about as scientists.